Thank you for the opportunity to speak here to present our results concerning nutritional value of the research that is done in Belgium concerning ancient grains. We have several crops involved. Yesterday, my colleague uh, has already given a presentation on the cultivation. I will focus on the nutritional value of the uh, crops obtained on uh, Belgian soils. We have here the locations. Uh, and due to the fact that Belgium has uh, different soil types, we uh, were, uh, we were, uh, it was necessary to uh, grow the crops on different locations with different soils. So I'll come back to that later on. These are the varieties uh, for if you want to check them later on. I will deal with three questions. What is the composition of the grain kernel in, uh, on Flemish soil uh, grown ancient wheats, Einkorn, Emmerend, Corazon? And then uh, afterwards, we will prepare whole grain breads with those uh, Flemish kernels and we will see there the nutritional composition and also uh, tell something about the effect of the baking process. And uh, lastly, we will tell something about the impact on nutrient intake at population level for the Belgian population by integrating uh, those alternative cereals and products into our diet. So, first question, what is the result on Flemish soil? I won't uh, present very, uh, yeah, a re revelating uh, information here because there is a lot of information about composition, but it was definitely the first time that these crops were grown on Flemish soil in an uh, experimental uh, context. So we see here uh, modern wheat, Einkorn, Emmer and Corazon, uh, concerning proteins, an increase in 30 to 36%. Uh, fat increase in Einkorn and Emmer, but not in Khorasan. Ash increases. And so when we consider here the graph, we see a total of 100%. Uh, I just cut it here off at 55 because the digestible carbohydrates uh, uh, represent the other, the rest of the, the bar of 100%. So if all those things uh, are increasing, there must be something that decreases because otherwise we won't have 100% dry matter. So this is uh, a role that is uh, contributed to the total carbohydrates, uh, which are lowered due to the decrease as well as uh, in dietary fiber. Percentages are shown as also the decrease in digestible carbohydrate content. So what we conclude here uh, for these main nutrients is that there are less total carbohydrates in Asian twins. And, uh, there is an increase in other main nutrients, especially protein content, 30 to 36 percent. Some uh, additional information, uh, firstly the year impact. So we see here the first bar uh, representing uh, 2016 results and then the second bar uh, indicating the 2017 results. Uh, we must conclude here that the differences due to yields and climate conditions uh, namely, 2017, there was a lower yield for uh, every crop. We uh, have uh, a significant effect on protein content and uh, also on ash content. And there is always a complementary change in total, total carbohydrates. Another effect that was uh, observed was the difference between several Einkor, and Emmer and Corazon varieties used in our trials. So we must there uh, observe, observe that limit, there are only limited differences among the tested varieties of an ancient wheat type and the greatest differences was fa difference was found in a certain einkorn variety uh, called Terzino. We have different soils in Belgium, so what's the effect of the soil on the nutritional composition? Conclusion sounds here that when we go from a sandy loam uh, soil to a heavier clay soil, then we, uh, observ we observe a decrease in protein content and an increase in fat content, but not, uh, at every, not in every ancient wheat species. So you see here uh, which ancient wheat species are uh, related to that effect. So the first time there is information about uh, Flanders, so we compare the results of ashes and protein content a bit with the uh, literature shown in the data shown in the literature and then we must uh, conclude that the Flemish, the Flemish kernels of wheat as well ancient as well as modern wheat are uh, relatively high in protein and ash. So 
Next, we have minor nutrient values. I uh, begin here with the micro minerals. On average, there are uh, the percentages shown here as an increase for all ancient weeds for uh, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Then also for the micro minerals, there's an increase for all uh, varieties, tested varieties, ancient weeds, but uh, for copper there was no increase uh, observed. So then we have here uh, vitamins, uh, B1, B2 and B6 were selected for uh, doing our observations and we must tell here there is no, uh, nothing, very, uh, nothing very special uh, concerning the vitamins B. And for the vitamin E, we uh, considered that uh, emmer uh, has similar level as modern wheat and einkorn and corazon show a re reduced uh, level. And another parameter that was involved was the total phenol uh, content. And then uh, here was the conclusion that einkorn has uh, a very high total phenol content here at the kernel level. For emmer and corazon, there was no difference. So if we summarize a bit the nutrient value of the kernels, we can conclude that einkorn is in fact the uh, variety that has most uh, nutrients on board. So second part is the question, what does the baking process on the nutritional value of the kernels and uh, how do we obtain the uh, the uh, breads firstly. Well, it was an experimental design that uh, with two baking days in total, in totally there were 26 breads involved, two times 13 breads. Uh, we tested two Einkorn varieties, two Emmer varieties, one Corazon variety and uh, modern wheat in two days. This are the, these are the details of the processing. We used uh, yeast, uh, stone miller, uh, no fat was added to uh, be able to uh, uh, bring, uh, get conclusions uh, concerning the fat levels and we had a two hour total fermentation which was pretty short but is uh, comparable with the industrial way of working. The similar appearance of all breads outside was observed as well as the similar appearance of all breads inside. We see that the breads were uh, quite compact. It is uh, mention worthy that it is not the intention to have Optimized breads, there are certainly better ways to produce breads for uh, human consumption, but these were breads for, a, uni uh, for an, uh, a uniform way of processing and to obtain uh, the effect of the baking process of one hour uh, at 200 degrees. So these are the results for the baked and analyzed uh, products. You see here the similar differences that I mentioned already several slides uh, back and uh, the interesting fact comes then now here, of course, uh, what is the difference between the calculated breads, calculated with the kernel values results, which I showed already, and then included the salt and yeast, which we added during the process. All the results are expressed uh, on dry matter, so the water differences uh, are, uh, are gone. And then, yeah, we can put the two graphs uh, one near another, and the difference remain the same. Is here the conclusion. So the total carbohydrate content uh, in decreases, and more nutrients are uh, obtained, especially protein and ash, in all uh, ancient wheat types. We can well, we can uh, also conclude that the differences are a bit less pronounced. But then we have to. Uh, consider also the number of repetitions which was uh, different and also it's always uh, a sample that uh, we uh, do. I will summarize the other nutrients here in this table because otherwise we are uh, too long here with this presentation. So for the micro minerals, the macro minerals, the micro minerals, the vitamins and the total phenolic content we see on the left side of this table the differences uh, when we use the calculation breads and on the right side here we have the analysis uh, results, so expressed as differences in comparison to modern wheat. And what we can conclude is that the expected increases, which we see on the left side, are proven in the effective breads, but some differences are uh, also 
observed. Uh, for example, uh, an increase, uh, a decrease in the differences in microminerals. Um, however, uh, zinc, for example, that stays the same almost, and copper, which was not different in Khorasan, in the calculated breads, uh, has now an increase uh, in comparison to modern wheat. So, we have a special attention here for the total phenolic content. Uh, in the pink bars, there is the calculated uh, value shown, and then the second and the third bar are bread one and bread two. We see uh, a huge decrease in the total phenol content due to the baking process, and it seems that the Corazon is able to protect these total phenols during the baking procedure because there is almost no difference in the total phenol content uh, in our procedure. Then lastly, we have a scenario analysis. What uh, is this about? Well, we used our uh, data to uh, calculate, again, a new bread uh, in which we added some gluten and fat to um, imitate the uh, uh, commercial bread that was used to uh, obtain the data in the Belgian food uh, uh, tables, food nutrition tables. We also uh, needed a woman, uh, a, a, hypo a hypothetic woman, uh, with these uh, characteristics. Uh, for that reason, an, an, a nutritionist was involved to uh, obtain a correct, uh, uh, correct material to uh, get to this conclusion, to this uh, graph. Uh, on the line of 100%, you see that uh, there is a full uh, satisfaction of the daily requirement of the, um, of the nutrient that is shown here. So what you can see is then uh, that concerning Ebner Einkorn, there is a difference from 80% uh, almost to 110%, so which means that the increase uh, in zinc, that is uh, the case in einkorn, uh, results in the fact that no, not enough zinc can be uh, changed in their requirement is okay. And then lastly, we have this slide uh, showing that the breads produced with ancient wheats, they, uh, they are, of course, more expensive, from 60 to 80 percent more uh, expensive for the producer's price and also for the cons consumer's price. So um, I think we are ready. So the message that I brought you was that the total carbohydrate content decreases and in that way the other main nutrients can increase and all uh, micro and macro minerals are higher in the ancient wheat types. Some small differences are observed and the total phenol content is uh, maintained during the, bake, the baking process it, uh, with Corosa. So thank you for your attention. If there are any questions, I'm at your service.